Hey there, and welcome back to the Android Guys podcast. It's your favorite audio enthusiast, Scott and Luke. And today's episode is all about cool audio gear from the Soundpeats brand. Soundpeats is a brand that knows how to mix high quality audio with affordability, which is music to our ears. Ooh. Whether you're looking to rock out at the gym, jam on the beach, or just chill at home, this episode of the Android Guys podcast on the best Soundpeats products is going to be a wild ride. So turn off the volume and let's get started. Just a quick note, this episode is compiled from previously recorded podcasts for Soundpeats products. earbuds that i've been reviewing ah yeah so i think i reviewed a pair of earbuds from this company and you you had the other one so i'm inter- interested to see your take on them yes this is the sound Peats mm-hmm. air 3 deluxe hs okay so i think this is like the third or fourth pair of sound Peats to come through here okay maybe in the last couple of months um i would say as a whole i'm happy to recommend the brand yes as each of those qualifies for a specific type of need. Okay. But what I'm also finding is generally they are kind of a um, no frills kind of earbud. Sure. Which means that they're not necessarily high end. Mm -hmm. They're not feature packed. Um, They're not going to have premium audio sound. But that doesn't mean they're poorly designed or cheap. Sure. Sure. I like these, the Air 3 Deluxe HS. I'm not sure what the HS stands for. So if somebody knows, they might be shouting it. If you see it on the website, I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, so let me tell you a little, a little bit about them. These are kind of like a, a stem design, right? kind of like the uh, AirPods. So they're Bluetooth 5.2. Uh, you can listen to them independently. Put one in each ear or take it out and just listen to one of them. There is uh, in-ear detection. That is something you can actually toggle on and off if you want because there's a mobile app companion that you can use. Hmm. Um, And the the app also lets you configure and play with uh, equalizer settings. Yeah. There are, I want to say, maybe nine different settings based off the kind of music you're listening to. And then there's a, uh, like a Soundpeats classic mode. So depending on if you're listening to like electronic, hip hop, rock, dance, that type of thing, you can select a preset for the equalizer and it will make some adjustments for you. Uh, There's like a heavy bass. There's one that's like less bass and they are noticeable. They are something that you will, uh, you can discern. You can hear them kick on when you move from one to the next. You can kind of hear that adjust in real time in your ear. Okay. Um. I found that um, depending on the music, you know, I, w- I would listen to certain tracks and thinking, I'm going to find the, the equalizer setting that would best show this off. Mm-hmm. And things that, you know, like run the jewels you would think would be hip hop, right? Right. But I found it actually sounded better under the classic. Okay. And then I tried um, rock for... Mm-hmm you know, Pink Floyd. Sure. And then I found that it actually worked better with the more bass. Okay. Which is, you know, weird. Yeah. I, I didn't, and it wasn't always like that. It wasn't like they were wrong across the board. It was mm-hmm. just kind of like, oh, this is interesting. This doesn't, doesn't line up with my expectations. Right. And each one doesn't sound, it doesn't make it sound bad. It just sounds better under a different EQ setting. Well, yeah, one really kind of brings that type of music out. Right. So I feel like, you know, you, you have to name them something, but I almost felt like I wanted to rename these settings uh, and call it, you know, A or number one. Sure. And I would find the ones that I would just kind of bounce back and forth between. Mm-hmm. Um, but... Generally speaking, if you just stick with the classic, Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a pretty safe bet. Okay. If you're somebody who doesn't really care to kind of get more out of your music, you may not even install the app. You might just pair it through Bluetooth and 
listen to your music. But if you want to have that little bit of, you know, that granular control, then that might be something you want to consider. Okay. Um, the earbuds themselves, when I, when I came to listening to music, I felt like they had a pretty decent um, space between the layers. Uh-huh. Between, like, the lows, mids, highs. And you yeah. would hear the, the sound stage was pretty good. Okay. But I would find that it would often, I don't say often. I would find that occasionally it felt like there was just something missing from it. Mm. And that was maybe in search of the right equalizer setting. Okay. Because it felt like this is good, but it's just missing. There's something missing at the top here. Yeah. Or there's something at the bottom, like mm-hmm. the, the lows. Like what, what? So playing with the equalizer settings will, you know, results will vary. But mm-hmm. um, stick it with just a classic. It was, it was a pretty good experience. Sure. These are uh, IPX4 rated against water resistance. Yeah. Um, they have USB-C charging on the case. They're like a round little thing that goes in your pocket, fits nicely. You're going to get about five hours of playback per charge. And then the carrying case is going to give you about another 15. So you're looking at about 20 hours total uh, on, a, on a full charge. Not bad. That. So that's not too bad. Uh, they have a like a gaming mode Mm -hmm. so that you could uh and you'll do that by tapping the earbud your left one i think three times Uh and it's like a multi-function button so tapping that three times turns on game mode which is like a low latency sure uh supposed to be like 60 milliseconds or less yeah so if you're listening to music you don't care about latency phone calls right it's not that bad at all but if you want to play games and you're listening for somebody sneaking up on you, sure. If you're trying to match up your shooting to, right. you know, what you see, it's going to make a difference. Um, on the right earbud, if you tap it three times, you can use your digital assistant. Ah. So Google Assistant, for mm-hmm. instance, mm-hmm. Um, so that you can kind of bring that up and ask it hands free, um, you know, without picking up your phone. I should say. Right. The buttons aren't. You don't have any like tactile feedback you don't feel it click or anything yeah so there there is a little bit of a learning curve at least for me Mm -hmm. to figure out like what constitutes as a tap because you don't hear or feel anything yeah because one tap on the right brings your volume up one tap on your left brings the volume down okay double tapping on the left goes back a track Mm -hmm. double tapping on the right goes forward and then that triple tap is where you do your game mode or google assistant so Trying to figure out, like, is this two taps? Does it, you know, you don't hear any beeps. You don't hear any clicks. Gotcha. Trying to kind of figure out where that is. So there's no feedback at all. Right. And it's super, I mean, the whole thing is smooth. Yeah. And if you look at it, there is like a spot that you would assume or you feel like that's where the button is going to be. Sure. So there is that. But when you're first getting used to it, it's kind of like, do I need to go higher up the stem? How, How long did it take you to get kind of get used to that? I would say after a couple of listens. Okay. I mean, it's pretty quick. So it's not that steep of a learning curve. It's not that steep. It's just something where it was just kind of like, okay, I'm trying to turn. Is that I'm turning on Google Assistant. Right. And I'm like, I was just trying to skip the track. Or how long does it take between these to turn the volume up? Right. When does it turn into that's two taps? Is it pretty responsive after, you know, if you get the, let's say you get the three taps right, does it? Once you figure that out and kind of get the feel for that, it's it's pretty good. Okay. Um, That's what usually what I run into when, when checking out the, all these different headphone brands or headset uh, earbud brands is if I'm tapping, do I, how long do I wait before I know if I messed up or it's still registering what I did? Yeah. Am I still on that second tap waiting for my third or has it reset? Right. Um that yeah after a couple of listens you kind of get the feel for it that's good uh i don't i tend to not mess with my music yeah you know like I'm, i'll put on podcasts and it's like a long form listen right i'm not advancing tracks mm-hmm. going back um i'm not really taking calls there are sure. some buttons you can do to like accept a call mm-hmm. you know hang up things like that so there are all of those features in there now these have the ability to be independent right you can listen yeah. to either ed- headphone at ed- either earbud at a time mm-hmm. 
do you know or did you see if there's any change in what those buttons do if you're using one versus both? I didn't other than just to kind of like have one in my ear uh -huh. and listen to music. Right. Uh, the in-ear detection, and you can turn that on and off in the app, Yeah, is really good. Cool. Uh, so if you take it out of your ear, if you're listening to both, it will automatically pause. Yeah. You put it back in the case. You can resume. Mm -hmm. uh, that is – that's very accurate. Yeah. Um, and then like I said – that for me is, you know, I might just keep one on in the ear while I'm doing dishes or cleaning up after dinner, mm -hmm. catching up on something. Right. And then I'm available to kind of hear somebody else if they want sure. to talk to me. Sure. Yep. Uh, there are, there's support for uh, high res audio mm -hmm. and the LDAC support, those codecs. Nice. Those are kind of like the proprietary things, but yeah. the, it does support those. Um, these are, you know, pretty good. When I tell you the price of these things, it, you know, these are, Forty nine ninety nine, yes. And if you go to Amazon as of today, before we recorded, I did a double check. They're like thirty nine. It's really hard to kind of complain in that price range, right? And that that's one of the things that we run into because we see so many of these. Sure, is to kind of think of them in the terms of a vacuum. Yeah, and not well. These don't sound as good as the. Nothing earbuds right, that I like right. with stick. I prefer that. Like, it's kind of hard to do that. It's not fair to any particular brand to do sure, that. Sure. And I hate to even bring up another brand in talking about it. Yeah. But it's kind of hard not to do that yep. from what we do. Right. However, if somebody on the street comes up and says, hey, uh, what do you know about Soundpeats? Are they any good? Yeah. I would definitely recommend them. Mm -hmm. I would say that... Um, I would qualify it first with tell me what you want to do. Right. I just want something I can listen to uh, in the library or on my commute. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I spend time, um, you know, in the gym. You're not really plugged into your music. You might want, you know, these will get pretty loud. You're not really there to dance and get lost in the music. You just right. want that there. They're going to work just fine for yeah. that. So I would definitely say these are worth their money uh, in terms of, you know, that $50 price point. Yeah. If you can get it for 40. Yeah. Even better. Sure. I scored these things across the board. They came out to like a 3.94. Okay. Almost a four out of five. Yeah. And that again is based off of the $50 price point. Yeah. And when we first got them, their suggested retail was 60. Yeah. So if you can come in at 50, 40, you know, you're doing really well for that. Yeah. I think that the Air 3 Deluxe HS are something worth considering. Awesome. Well, thanks, Scott. You're welcome. What do you got? Uh, so I've been uh, checking out these headphones, earbuds. Okay. Uh, from a brand I was unfamiliar with. Um, I think... Uh, we Android guys have maybe seen some stuff from them before, mm -hmm. uh, but I had never uh, messed around with them. These are the Air Three Pro uh, wireless earbuds from Soundpeats. Yes, um, these things are uh, interesting because uh, they're priced right for the features they have, mm -hmm. um, but I I still don't love them. I feel oh. like based on on the things I see, the features they have, the the price point, these would be a a home run, just great. But they're just I, I just feel like they're just okay. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so these have a lot th a lot going for them. They're hybrid uh and, and, uh noise canceling, mm -hmm. uh active noise canceling. It, it has an aptx uh adaptive Bluetooth. Okay. So. Um, so it's got the codec for the Qualcomm right. chip in there. Okay. It's, it's got, uh, a clear call guarantee, like, uh, really nice noise reduction for in call stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, 12 millimeter drivers. Like it's got, you know, charging rechargeable case, uh, pretty small form factor case too. A lot, a lot of times we see like these big carrying cases where it's like, this is supposed to go in my pocket. Yeah. This isn't portable. Um, so these think. things are pretty small. Uh, they are a STEM style, which is, you know, uh, style is pretty subjective. So it's mm -hmm. just, that's not maybe I think maybe that's part of it. That's not a style I like. 
uh, but it's not, um, it doesn't get in the way. They still function as they're supposed to. Um, they, uh, they have a couple different modes. They have like a, a game mode. They're cool. They, but I find that, you know, what it boils down to most of the time for earbuds, regardless of the features they have or anything they have is what do they sound like? Right. Um, making a call, no problems mm-hmm. at all. It, it is clear. It sounds like the person you're talking to. It doesn't sound like you're in a tunnel. It's not distractive on their end. It doesn't sound you know look like you're in the, on the highway with the windows down. Right. When you're in a quiet room. Sometimes you get that. Like these sound good. Or they over cancel everything and things right. are clipped. Right. Um, so calls sound natural, but the audio for music it's not as clear as what I would expect from headphones that have all of these features. Oh, really? Yeah. So, um, and and maybe it's, you know, I, I feel like we've, we do a lot of earbud stuff. So, yeah. And that's, that's the problem is that we kind of compound our criticism kind of snowballs. Sure. We we get more and more, maybe get maybe a little hyper-focused on, on something because yeah. we listen to so much and, and yeah, and it's easy to so weigh much. something against everything else. Right. And, and it's hard because you can't keep everything in a vacuum. Exactly. And so overall I gave these a pretty good score. Overall I gave them a 3.69. Okay. So, so yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, these, these are good earphones or earbuds. And I think for the right person, I think, if you are looking for a new set of earbuds and you're on a budget mm-hmm. and you want something that's going to work, um, these are great. And they have a, lo- a lot of those newer features that you're you're wanting. Um, but if 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 you're an audiophile listening, you know, to music and music is your thing, I think there are maybe ones that are probably a little better in the same price range you might not get all the features that these have yeah i'm looking at like i'm just looking at specs and i see these things and i'm like that ticks boxes that are like a lot you know it uh, really does the bluetooth 5.2 the audio profiles the ipx4 rating Mm -hmm. the USB C, the the fact that uh playtime you get up to 24 hours out of that case so i see all these and i look at the price and think yeah that's a pretty Mm -hmm. Pretty compelling argument for eighty dollars. Yeah. However, when you get into the eighty to a hundred dollars, right? I know that I've heard some really good headphones and sure. earbuds sure. out there that I'm like, man, these are a definite recommendation mm-hmm. if you're into music. Right. Can you talk at all about like the the soundscape, like lows, mids, highs? Is it compressed? Is there not? Is it yeah, muddy? So, so it's a little muddy, I think overall. Okay. So you have some highs and lows, but kind of the mid range is kind of where it breaks up and it, it kind of all either it sounds the low end's a little light um, yeah. and it's a little muddy in the mids and the highs are, are there. So that's the big change. And, you know, obviously when you're as, as you're hearing degrades, highs are what you hear more anyway. Sure. So um, highs are always going to be the things that stand out mm-hmm. regardless of, whether you you know whether or not you're losing your hearing or however good the headphones are highs are just hit your ears more than anything else but um they don't sound they have they don't sound like they have a a very wide dynamic range okay you know everything sounds okay it just doesn't sound great nothing's it doesn't sound like you know uh, doesn't sound like I'm listening to it on a, you know, it seems different than normally. Sure. Like I, so it, yeah, it says 12 meter millimeter dynamic driver and renders super great sound. Mm-hmm. So you wouldn't call it super great I, at all. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it super great. I don't think it's bad. It's yeah. not like you put them on and it's just like, oh, these are terrible. Sure. Sure. But they're they're just I think for that money, if, right? If these came in at fifty bucks, 
I would say, sure, these okay. are great. So I'm going to throw something at you now. Yeah, go ahead. And this may change everything. Okay. So you've got this. You said they came out to an average of 3.69, 3. Yep. 3.7. Yep. As of right now, uh-huh. if you go to Amazon and look at these, okay, they're fifty nine ninety nine. That's a little bit better. Yeah. So that's so a little better. You start to look at that and go, oh, the $50 earbuds, you, you immediately become a little bit more forgiving. Mm-hmm. Are they worthy of sixty dollars? Would you? Score I would them? say fifty. I I would. I like fifty. Okay. If you find them for fifty bucks and you're looking for new earbuds, these have a lot of cool features. Fifty bucks, no problem. Okay. Sixty. Okay. If you have had Sound Pete's before, you like Sound Pete's. Sixty bucks, great. Eighty, like what Sound Pete's website says now. Right. I I don't think it's worth that. Okay. I don't think it's worth that. Now, I know overall this sounds like a downer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm sorry if it sounds like a downer. I did give these a 3.69, almost a 3.7, which is above average for us. Right. These do have a lot of things going for them. If you care about audio quality for music, yeah. These are not the greatest. But they're call not, quality though right. is fantastic. And if I could imagine the same would apply for podcasts, sure. audiobooks. Sure. And people who just want to have something in their ear. Yep. They don't just need to disappear into the song. Right. Exactly. So So yeah, I, I guess that's a maybe I, I made it uh a little bit too uh gloomy. I don't right. mean to make these sound like they are uh bad. I think for the right person, these are great. Yeah. I I think if music is your, if you're getting headphones for listening to music, uh, they're, your money is better spent somewhere else. Okay. But, but if you're looking for a nice, well-rounded overall, package. Sure. These are great. These and they have a lot of, a lot of really cool features. All right. And again, these are the Sound Pete's Air 3 Pro. Air 3 Pro. Yep. All right. Thank you, Luke. No problem. Today, I have a new set of headphones from Soundpeats. We like headphones here. We do. Uh, Soundpeats is a brand that we have been introduced to fairly recently. Mm-hmm. Um, these are the Run Free Light. Okay. So these are a traditional uh, kind of headphone. They they go around the ear. Okay. And it's it's one piece, so there's a kind of a band around the back Mm -hmm. so it's made for you know run it's the run free so it's made for running and exercising yeah um but these don't actually go in your ear and they don't cover the ear they have an air conduction technology so they sit above your ear all right so i've got a few questions yes uh give us a second here and i'll dive into that sounds good Luke, you were talking about the Soundpeats Run Free Light. Yes. And I'm looking at some pictures and details here. Yes. Uh, these kind of remind me of the point when Bluetooth headphones took off. Yes. And they were still kind of tethered to each other. Yeah. In the advent of stereo Bluetooth. Yes. And um, so these look similar to that. Um, they look, you know, slightly dated, mm-hmm. maybe. But um, these actually work well for what they are. So they they have this air conduction technology. And the idea is that they are – the earpieces sit over your ear. Mm -hmm. They don't go in your ear. It's almost kind of like a a bone conducting idea Mm -hmm. um, where – but they just hover kind of over your ear instead of on your temple. And you can still hear – everything around you but you yeah. can also hear your music so it kind of reminds me of some of these like bluetooth sunglasses yes and things where yep okay this works it sounds good uh when i'm out running or if i'm riding my bike doing whatever yep these aren't what i'm going to want to do when i'm mowing sure but these are also going to be good if i'm running in a group and somebody starts to talk to me yes i can hear we can start to have the conversation yes i can hear the traffic and things around me yes 
one of the downsides to that is that the sound isn't always great. Correct. Tell me about the sound here. Okay, so these have uh, a decent, it's a 16.2 millimeter uh, driver. That's not too bad. No. That's so a pretty the, good size. They put out a lot of power and mm-hmm. they, they definitely sound, they sound better if you press them against your ears. Okay. More like traditional yeah. headphones or or kind of maybe uh, encapsulate your ear drum versus having kind of the air conduction. Mm-hmm. Um, just because with the air conduction and the over the ear, you lose a lot of that kind of richness in the sound. Sure. Um, these don't sound uh, nearly as as bad as you would expect okay. from something that, you know, essentially kind of works like a speakerphone. Yeah. You know, they they do sound good and they they pair with the Soundpeats app. So okay. you have access to all the different EQs that they have set up in the app. Nice. Plus you can create your own custom EQ. So if you are listening to certain types of content mm-hmm. and you your ears, you can tune them to say, hey, I want to be able to make sure I'm hearing right. audio uh, spoken word clearly. Yeah, you crisp. can you can bump your mids and your highs and kind of okay. get rid of the bass because you don't really need that or something like that. It does give you a lot of control over that in the app. Um, the headphones themselves, really easy to pair. Uh, it's Bluetooth 5.3, so no problem to be super easy to pair. Um, they have multi-point connection too. Okay. So you can connect to your phone. You could also connect to maybe your watch if your watch has that capability or you could pair to uh, your computer. So if you were, uh, you know, maybe working at home, but you still wanted to be able to hear the kids or hear uh, somebody else. And if you're in an office environment, you can still hear your computer, hear your phone, but also hear what's going on around you. So you can have uh, multiple connections and that works well. Uh, these also both 17 hours of, of uh, music and talk time. That's not bad at all. No. Okay. Uh, it's a USB-C charger. And um, and these are, they're, they're light. I was just saying, are they comfortable? They are comfortable. Um, I was a little worried. I've been um, using some bone conducting headphones mm-hmm. a lot recently. And these are the same idea. Um, and I was worried cause they're, they're a little bit bigger than what I've been used to for kind of that style of a head headset. Yeah. Um, but these feel very comfortable the way that, uh, it's molded to go around your ear and fit around the back of your head feels really natural. Um, I would, I would maybe want the buttons. So the buttons are behind your ear on kind of a flat part mm-hmm. of the part that curves around the back of your head. Um, I would want maybe a button on the earbud itself yeah, or, or on the, you know, the speaker itself, because I find myself wanting to touch that point sure. to, to answer a call versus the buttons. And there's only buttons on the right hand side. Okay. So there's only, there's three buttons there, one, and you know, depending on which one you press and how many times have different functions like volume or skip a track or answer a call or yeah there's a couple you know different modes and different things you can do overall um these things are awesome yeah and they come in at 40 dollars right now what yeah so they're normally priced um as of recording looks like they're normally priced at 50 dollars, but they're on sale for 40 um wow and i i think if you're somebody that uh, you know, if you're running and you want to be able to hear what's going on around you for this price, uh, they're great. They are, yeah. uh, they do have a little bit of sweat proof, yep, uh, IP, IPX4, IPX4 rated. So light rain, uh, you know, sweat proof, you're going to, you're going to have no problem there. Mm-hmm. Um, and these, these tick a lot of the boxes for, you know, what you would expect in a pair of headphones. Uh, and they have the uh, extra option of of having that air conduction technology and and kind of that mm-hmm. spatial awareness that you would want uh, if you're working out or trying to listen to music, but also be in an environment where you need to be accessible. Nice. Um, so yeah, I uh, Soundpeats uh, continually uh, 
kind of they hit the mark. They do. I there's I think they uh I don't think they foul off the ball very often. No. Everything that I've seen so far from them over the last couple of years has been as good as expected for the price. Sure. And uh what when you said 40, I was thinking he's probably going to be like 70 and I would have been like, "Yeah, that sounds right." Yeah. 40. Yeah, 50. That's a that's a great price. Yep. And uh yeah, so these are the Run Free Light uh from Soundpeats. Thank you. Opera 5 earbuds. Uh, these are a Bluetooth earbud uh, with a emphasis on audio. Um, these are not quite available, but when they are, I'd pick yeah. them up. So you recommend them? I do. I do like these. Um, they hit all the boxes. They have active noise canceling. They have an IPX rating. They have over 30 hours on a charge are with the charging case. Mm -hmm. Um, they have, uh, an app experience that lets you do customizable EQs, even customizable notification sounds. Nice. Um, they're pretty sweet, man. I like them. Let's take a quick break and you can dive in on those. Love it. All right, Luke, you're going to tell us more about the sound Pete's opera five. Now I know these are a Kickstarter. Yes. Earbud. Yes. I saw them here in the office. Yes. Had a chance to play with them briefly. Uh-huh. But you have kind of kicked the tires on them. Yes. Done a little bit more extensive hands-on, ears-on. True. So, True story. <laughs> let's let's hear about them. Uh, you mentioned a couple of the features. Um, well, you take it. Yeah. So audio-wise, I mean, these are, these are primarily an audio listening device for music. Okay. Um, these have uh, multiple codec support, including LDAC, which is one of the newest codecs developed by Sony, uh, supposed to be able to give really nice audio over Bluetooth. Okay. And that's what it was designed for is audio delivery over Bluetooth. These are the one of the more high bit rates yes. out there. Okay. Yeah, like 30 megahertz or something like that. Okay. Um, they are... Um, IPX4 rated, mm -hmm. so you're going to be able to wear them uh, while you're doing stuff. You're gonna if you're caught, you know, in the rain or it, yeah. you have a little bit of sweat if you're working out of them or something. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to be fine. Now that being said, the design of them they look very nice. They got like a shiny black with some mm -hmm. gold accent to them. Yeah, uh, they look premium they feel premium they are a little bit bigger yeah um kind of fits there's a little part that goes in your ear uh but the main housing of the earbud uh is a little bulky yeah i quickly when i put them in i, I felt like i had frankenstein bolts yeah kind of sticking out yeah but that was just the first blush kind of yeah. feel i didn't get a chance to listen to them or right wear them do anything but i just thought Oh, these are kind of big, right? But they're nice looking. They we, are nice looking. Soundpeats doesn't typically. This looks a little more premium, yes. a little more upscale for them. Yes, and uh, they feel like it too. I mean, they sound good. Um, these are ones that I could see myself if I just want to listen to music, or uh, and and really enjoy music. But maybe after people have gone to bed for the night or yeah. something like that. Um, they do have active noise canceling, so you're going to be able to kind of shut out the rest of the house if you're listening to them, mm -hmm. uh, you know, doing stuff around the house. Uh, but because of weight-wise um, and what they kind of – the fit, I don't know if they would be a commute earbud for me. Okay. Now, I did change the tip. It comes with multiple tips, mm -hmm. uh, foam and silicone. And by changing the tip, I was able to get a better feel. Sure. That felt a lot more solid, um, but still, uh, look wise, I, wasn't my uh, not aesthetic look, but the feel of the earbud uh, wasn't the right fit for me for a commute. Um, these though, overall, are going to hit every box: mm -hmm. active noise canceling, 
uh, they have the charging case that. So the battery you mentioned with the charging case, mm-hmm. what is the total on that? It's thirty three hours. Okay. Um, total, so you get nine hours of charge, and then thirty three. If you're using active noise canceling, it goes down to twenty five more. Sure. So it, it it's not or twenty five total, um, but they're saying you know over thirty hours basically. Yeah. Uh, which is great for you know an earbud. Yeah, you're looking at maybe depending on your lifestyle, what once or twice a week. Right. To charge that. Right. Um, what do these run price wise? So that's the interesting part because it's still Kickstarter okay. based. Um, it's not openly available. You can still get in on the Kickstarter. As of this recording, it might be right at the end of it. Yeah. But these come in at $79. Yeah. So I'm looking at like early bird, save 20. Yeah. You know, for 59 um, uh, so seventy nine dollars. Yeah, seventy nine dollars. The retail they say the retail is going to be a hundred dollars. Okay. So still hundred dollars. I have no problem saying pick these up. Yeah. Especially if you like, uh, you know, listening to music and that's what you primarily do with earbuds. Mm-hmm. These are going to be great. Now call quality is fine. I took calls. I I whenever I'm testing earbuds, I always make a call and see how it yeah. sounds. It sounded fine. Everything like that. Um, for me, the fit wasn't cre- quite right for the, these to be my go-to all day, every day earbud. Sure. Uh, but if I really want to sit and enjoy some music and do some stuff around the house, uh, these are going to be the ones. Now, going back to the size of those, uh, did you have any type of ear fatigue? No. Okay. No, they felt really good, uh, especially with the different types of ear tips that you can put in. Mm-hmm. Uh, they really do give you a comfort fit. Nice. Yeah. So I don't know the exact launch of these. Right. Uh, depending on when this is published. Estimated so. delivery for the Kickstarter backers is April of 2023. Okay. So I'm guessing maybe around that time or slightly after they'll sure. be on the market. Okay. And again, these are Soundpeats. Soundpeats Opera 5. Opera 5. Thank you, Luke. No problem. All right. That's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, feedback, concerns, comments, anything, shoot us an email at podcast at androidguys.com. We'd love to hear from you one way or the other. Uh, Luke, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do yeah. they do that? Uh, I am on Instagram and Twitter at Luke Gall, G-A-U-L. And I'm on Instagram at Scott Webster and Twitter as S Webster 77. Until next time, thanks for listening. See ya.